everybody. My name is Chava Barnoi. I am the co-inventor of Evac by One Startup. We present a field stretcher on wheels powered by a single stretcher barrier. The market of field stretchers and tactical litters is practically crying out for disruptive invention. Infantry troops and EMS organizations still use the old folding stretcher patented in 1942, almost 70 years ago. The industry keeps on offering military and tactical litters the same old method of a four-man stretcher barrier team. Today, for the first time, we present a practical system for evacuation over rough terrain and off the field by one person only. The biggest pain of military and emergency medicine, both literally and figuratively, is streamlining the evacuation chain. There is a big problem regarding the golden hour concept. This is the golden hour between life and death. If you are critically wounded, you have less than 60 minutes to survive. An injured soldier or a trauma victim from a terrorist attack must be at a medical facility within an hour or less. This is hardly the case in reality. In almost every security-related medical evacuation, approaching the site by helicopter, there is a big, there is a big dangerous. In, in large-scale natural disaster and in combined terrorist attack. To achieve our goal quickly, we will use the winning grant to further develop our prototype. For example, we need to shed at least 20 pounds off the present weight. Then we can offer several modified prototypes for training in military and civil rescue scenario. We also plan to develop a motor-assisted version. Any remaining pounds would be assigned to R&D in order to initiate the UGV robotic litter, the holy grail of rescue. Regarding technical feasibility, we have a working and tested feasibility prototype. We tested it under extreme condition in a test led by a director from an international stretcher manufacturing firm. Let's watch a movie, 40 second condensed of that test. Army medics and first responders from around the world would be delighted to be with us and to watch this video. The industry offers them a market dominated by standard stretchers. Those stretchers are becoming more and more expensive every year because they use lighter metal and technically improved. Unfortunately, they still employ the same old method of a four-man stretcher barrier team. Samai and litter for search and rescue units now cost almost the same as our target price. There are some attempts to transport patients over rough terrain in a bulky device using a wheelbarrow design with one or two wheels. They are very expensive, they are very heavy and expensive, and they carry a price tag of up to two times our target price. Okay, I know it is a low-tech device, probably the only one in this competition, but it will address this security pain and save lives. Low tech, but highest of game. Thank you very much.